right, so by 8, I am pretty much logged onto my computer. Today, I don't even start with Puma until 9 because I'm fairly new, so I don't actually have that much work to do quite yet. And what you see me doing here is actually my other job, which is a data analyst consultant for my old company. And pretty much what I do is any data related task that is assigned to me. And it's super nice because I get to do it on my own schedule and it's really flexible. So I really love that. So I'm editing this video right now and I wanted to insert this clip in so I can break down what that meeting was. Pretty much I'm new to the company and I work for CPG, which is the golf branch of Puma. However, because everything is so interconnected, I pretty much work for Puma at the same time. And this next project that I'm put onto relates to the warehouse department. So right now I'm trying to get an understanding of what everyone's role in the warehouse is and how our current processes are mapped out so that in the future when things are changing or improving i'm pretty much aware of how it works and i guess to break down business analysts as well at least with my role for the company is i'm trying to assist and improve processes so that we save time money effort energy for the company and to do that we have to work a lot with people files, data, etc., and systems. So hopefully as I work more, I can break it down as well. And for now, that really was what the meeting was about. The matter of how many of those upload projects actually like landed into the queue of what we can do. Um, so like I said, we have so many different hats. It just really depends on the day. Maybe it was something that was mentioned that they didn't write down. I don't, I don't really know. Yeah. Uh, but I do know that the upload processes have only been at mention in the comments you can't at mention in the list it's true okay so for if you do want to use that at mention to get people's attention you can still do that i've just been trying to keep the you know more like content rich pieces in the actual defect so okay. if you just want to get someone's like to notify someone it's still useful for that <laughs>
I just, it's, I guess, hard for me to turn on the camera and talk just because there's things that I have going on in my head and I just want to be able to do all of it. But it is currently 3.45 or so and I have a dentist appointment at 4 and I'm nervous because it's the first <laughs> dentist appointment that I'm going to in like five years. So I'm just nervous for them to be like, oh, you have like cavities or blah, blah, whatever. And I don't know, I just hate going to like the doctors and stuff. And then after the net tests, we're going to the gym. And then going from there, I'm like already thinking about what am I gonna eat for dinner? Cause I have no food, but that's in a couple hours problem, not right now. So I'm gonna take y'all to the dentist and then go from there. <laughs> So I'm editing this video a different day from that other clip, but I don't have an outro or anything just because honestly after the gym, it was, I was so tired that I just didn't record the rest of my night. So I just wanted to have an outro now, but before I start, look at this hat I just got. And it's literally so cute. It's like Sherpa and it's like the perfect type of trashiness <laughs> but i also got this to just wear to the snow um whenever i i'm like going snowboarding or anything like that but i <laughs> going back to the video after the gym i just got home made dinner super late and then went to bed by like 9 30 10. i normally end my nights with reading so that's what i did but to wrap up this video i did want to say a little bit more information with like my role for the company and what I do so pretty much as a business analyst your goal at least the way it works at Puma is trying to turn a lot of manual work into automation so you're understanding current processes within the company and then figuring out a process an improved process to help turn that into automation and it works based on the need of the company and priority of all the different needs that they have. So that is really what the role of a BA looks like. And because I'm still so new, it's a slow transition into everything. However, once it really, really picks up, I would love to do another day in the life of a business analyst so that we can see how that looks together for you and I, just because in this one, there's a lot of free time, but it's really not that normal to have that much free time just because if you're not in meetings, you're doing the work, but I just got put onto my first project. So even next week is gonna look super different for me already. But I just really wanted to throw this video out there and really say that at least for Puma, there's been a really slow transition into everything. And the exposure you get is super, super nice because there's a lot of repetition. And so you're able to understand a lot of the different systems that you're going to be working with at a much slower pace so they're not just throwing you out there and then letting you figure it on your own as much as it feels a little bit slow it's really good and why i keep saying it's slow is because i'm so used to a small business background and just being thrown into it and navigating it all by yourself so this one's a little bit more training a lot more shadowing which is super pleasant and honestly it really helps that my background i do have this skill set and experience in so it doesn't feel completely brand new so you know there are moments where i can kind of space out a little bit just because i do know what they're talking about but yeah hopefully if you really like this video go ahead and like subscribe and tell me what other videos you want to see